Imagine possessing a secret tool that can change your interactions with people, spark a more profound understanding, and promote emotional development. How amazing would that be? As we enter the fascinating realm of relationship journaling, get ready to learn about this underrated secret. I am Dr. Prerna Kohli, a clinical psychologist and the founder of Mind Tribe. At Mind Tribe, we provide affordable counseling, support groups, communities, workshops, and e-learning to improve mental health. This podcast examines how journaling may transform your interactions with others and yourself. Relationship journaling is the secret to improving communication, handling disagreements amicably, or fortifying your relationship. A relationship journal is a carefully curated notebook or journal dedicated to preserving the nuances of one's relationship-related thoughts and emotions. It offers a secure setting for reflection and analysis of the dynamics at play, promoting self-awareness and a better comprehension of the complexities involved in the relationships. People can learn much about their wants, desires, and relationship patterns by writing down their thoughts, feelings, and observations. Writing encourages a level of introspection that makes it possible to spot common trends, debunk limiting ideas and investigate potential paths for progress. Techniques like relationship journaling are intended to be especially helpful for committed relationships, where the depth and durability of the relationship offer a rich tapestry of events to explore and reflect upon. Although the definition of a long-term connection varies from person to person, It typically refers to associations that have lasted the test of time and exhibit a high degree of investment and commitment. Relationship journaling is also one of the most recommended approaches when individuals feel lost in the relationship. It acts like a personal space where one can write down their ideas and sentiments regarding their significant other, the good and the bad times, their hopes and objectives for the relationship, and so much more. Effective connections require strong communication, but doing so can be difficult when we're unaware of our own emotions or experiencing emotional problems. While at the peak of your emotions, expressing yourself entirely through journaling may be beneficial as this has a considerably higher chance of communicating clearly. This tutorial will guide the viewers to learn about relationship journaling and how it can be utilized to foster emotional awareness, communication, and self-reflection, in turn improving their relationships. It explores questions and activities encouraging empathy and thankfulness while emphasizing attentive listening and constructive introspection. Here are some exciting methods which can be a great start to this journey. 1. Cherishing your story You can make your relationship journaling interesting by jotting down your personal love story together. Take turns jotting down significant occasions and turning points in your relationship. Document the romance of your first encounter, your feelings and thoughts as soon as you laid eyes on one other, and the development of your relationship. You can leave a valuable legacy that can be cherished and handed down to subsequent generations by recording these special events. Imagine the delight your children or grandkids will experience after reading about the connection and love that led to their creation. Your shared love story becomes a magnificent tribute to the strength of your relationship and the power of love, carefully maintained in your diary. 2. Answering the questions Couples can also try to answer questions concerning their relationship together or separately. Partners may provide an answer that completely surprises them. One can also put questions in writing for each other to respond to. This provides the individuals with a chance to ask questions, reflect and learn something they also want to know. For instance, partners can pose questions like Define a healthy relationship What are your expectations in this relationship? List the 10 moments that have made you the happiest in this relationship. 3. Creating a bucket list A fun and meaningful technique to improve your relationship with your partner or loved ones is to include a bucket list in your relationship journaling routine. 
you can enhance your relationship and lay out a plan for your future adventures by discussing and writing down your shared experiences, aspirations, and dreams. Consider the things you've always wanted to do as a couple or family, the locations you've always wanted to visit, the milestones you want to reach, and the personal development objectives you want to work towards. You'll be motivated to create memories, support one another's goals, and strengthen your relationship via shared experiences that are in line with your shared future vision as you write and review the items on your bucket list. 4. Couples Strength Exploration Exploring individual and shared qualities as a couple in a relationship diary entails setting aside time for this purpose. Each participant will list five of their partner's greatest strengths and share anecdotes demonstrating them during this activity. Couples can develop a sense of admiration and regard for one another through this activity, resulting in a greater connection and understanding. Couples can establish a more encouraging and supporting dynamic, boosting their sense of contentment and happiness in their relationship by accentuating the good qualities of their partner's personality and skills. One of the most enticing aspects of journaling is its ease of use. You don't need to get out and purchase a specialized journal to get started. Just some paper, a pen, and some time will do. Think about the time of day you will most likely maintain a journaling habit. It might happen in the early hours of the morning, at the end of the day, or at a precise moment during your work week. Stay calm about keeping the same time every day. Your schedule can accommodate journaling. Now, you are prepared to use relationship journaling to strengthen your bonds with others and start along a path of personal development. With this, we have reached the end of this podcast. I hope you enjoyed and imbibed the learnings from this podcast. I wish you success in all your endeavors. I will see you in the upcoming podcasts by Mind Tribe. Stay focused, stay healthy, and take care.